There you are. Okay. Today I would like to share a few ideas about the Smooth Q gimbal and the iPhone 11. Now in the past I have used the iPhone 7 with the uh, gimbal and uh, never had really any big problems. You just clip it in and off you go and uh, everything is fine. Now the first thing I found out when I put the iPhone 11 in that I couldn't balance it anymore because it was hanging like that the phone is too heavy on one end and that arm here is not long enough to adjust it any further so my first idea was to get the phone a little bit more that direction I took the rubber off here in the back that didn't help either and I took the rubbers out in here as well because I don't need them they only squeeze the camera too much so what I've done I used some hot snot and uh, glued some little lead pieces on here till the camera sort of balanced so that was the first thing I did and when you put the camera in and you turn the gimbal on You see the next problem. The arm, the gearbox with the motor and everything is in front of the lens. That creates a problem if you use the wide angle lens because that part is on your image. I will uh, cut a little bit of footage in it where I got that, that arm onto the footage. So the only way you can avoid that, you have to hold the gimbal all the time like this. And the moment you come up a little bit, it's on the image. So I thought that was not very good. That could be done better. So what I have sort of come up with to overcome that little problem, I turned the phone around. like that yeah turn the gimbal on and put it into selfie mode problem is you can't use the software that comes with the gimbal which is neither here nor there really but now you can use the gimbal without ever getting the arm and the joint into your image and also the panning still works and the only thing that doesn't work is the sideways panning but I, I can look at that that's that's not a problem and then you can slowly swing the thing around that all works the only other drawback and I turn that thing around is when you turn the phone on You, hang on. It's a bit fiddly to get it started. To start the um, the video because you have to get with your finger behind the arm. That's the only thing that is a little bit iffy, you know, sort of not not an easy not an easy task. But it can be done. And then you have the camera in selfie mode and you never get the joint and everything else onto the picture. Now you can do the same with the Smooth 4. The reason why I prefer the Smooth 3 Oh, the Smooth Q to the Smooth 4 is 
the little one fits in my trouser pockets so when I'm out and about I can stash it away this one it's a little bit too big for that so I hardly ever use it so I'm back using the the smooth cube okay I hope that helped uh, you guys a little bit to overcome the problem with the iPhone 11 and the wide-angle lens okay see you next time